Circle P has a radius of 1, and circle Q has a radius of 3, and both circles share the same center. When two tangent lines are drawn from point A on circle Q to circle P, what is the length of BC? Feel free to pause the video now to solve this problem on your own. Let's connect the center of circle P and points A and C, and the points of tangency. Since the radius of the circle is perpendicular to the tangent line, the lengths of AD and AE are 2 square root of 2 by the Pythagorean theorem. In right triangles OAD and OAE, all three sides are identical. This makes them congruent according to the SSS congruence rule. So angle OAD and angle OAE are the same. If we extend AO to meet side BC, the altitude from the apex of an isosceles triangle divides the triangle into two congruent triangles. So angle AHC and angle AHB are right angles, and the lengths of CH and BH are the same. In triangle CAH and triangle OAD, two corresponding angles are equal. So triangle OAD and triangle CAH are similar, and the ratio of similarity is 3 to 4 square root of 2. Now we can find the length of CH using the similarity ratio. 3 to 4 square root of 2 is equal to 1 to CH. Therefore the length of BC is 8 square root of 2 over 3.